What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a rain day here in New York. It is, what's the temperature? It's 50 degrees, but it has been raining pretty much all day. It's not raining as much up here where I am right now, but down where we work usually, it has been raining all day. You can see on my windshield here, there's a couple of raindrops. Not much. Haven't had my wipers on in probably like a half hour now. But I'm heading up to Steventown, New York to a place called Zwack Incorporated. You might have heard me talk about them in the past. They sell a bunch of plow parts. They sell, they're our Everest dealer. So anything Everest that we have on our trucks, we've gotten from them. Um, they do central hydraulic installs, plow installs, the whole nine, pretty much anything for a truck that you need done, they would do. But we also buy parts through them as well, which is the reason I'm on my way up here. They have, I believe it is all the parts to do the central hydraulics on our Chevy truck that we are swapping over. So I believe that's what I'm getting. My father just asked me to run up and pick up what they had, but I didn't talk to him about what exactly it is. I know we are getting that stuff through them, and I don't know if we're getting anything else from them. So I'm assuming that's what it is, but we have about 10 minutes until we get there. We'll get this stuff loaded and then we'll take a look at it. I am not bringing it to our shop today. I'm just gonna bring it home with me. It is already 2.30. This place is about an hour and 15 minutes, hour and 20 minutes from where I live. So I'm just gonna take it home with me and then either tomorrow or the next day, whenever I head down to our shop, I will bring it with me, but let me, Get over to Zwac, we'll get this loaded and then we'll take a look at it. fairly large building. This brick corner over here is offices and then under this Zwack sign is a door here. I have to run in there. That is the parts. This in front of us is all offices but parts is over to the right so let me run in and talk to that guy and then I'm sure he's going to have me drive around back to get this all loaded up. All right, guys, we are all loaded up and ready to hit the road. These guys had all of this stuff in two separate, well, one crate and then one pallet. This rear wing post was on a pallet. The rest of the stuff was in a crate. If I took the crate, I would have had to leave my tailgate down and strap everything in. But being that I took it out of the crate, everything fit in here. These two tubes down here just barely fit. You can see the bed liner on the tailgate there getting pushed very slightly, but I could have put them on an angle and they would have fit fine. I just tried to keep everything over here because that was the first stuff that we loaded. But you'll see all these tubes, some brackets. This is like a hardware kit. You have your valve right here. That is a Dewey's clutch pump. You may remember in the past we installed this exact clutch pump on the Chevy that all of the rest of the stuff is for, but we are going to be doing the one that we have left afterwards. So that is why we took that and we'll be able to get that one installed rather than having to go and order another. This box here is your hydraulic tank. And, uh, it's not really much to look at, it's just a big tank so i'm not going to get into opening that this is your rear wing post I talked about that already um i think that is pretty much it this box here is all of your valve controller and stuff like that you have your joysticks uh, let's see what else is in here like a couple joystick things a bunch of brackets and stuff a whole bunch of different boxes in here this is all for the actual valve the only thing you'll notice that is nowhere to be seen would be 
hydraulic lines and fittings. I'm gonna have to retape that box. Um, there's no hydraulic lines and fittings here. Those would all have to be made. We make hoses in our shop and Zwack here also makes hoses in house. And while I was inside, I was standing there with the owner. We had my father on the phone and they were talking about the possibility of just running the truck up here and letting these guys do the install. If that's the case, all the stuff that needs to go in the truck, I'll obviously put in the truck when we're running it up here. Um, we may do it, we may not. They would turn it around for us in no time. And it's not really something that we do. So it would take us a bit more time. And being that it is the end of winter and we're pretty much moving on into the warmer months, we don't really need the truck. We don't use it for anything except snow. So it's no big deal for us to run it up here and leave it here for say a month or so, which I doubt it would even take that long. These guys are pretty quick at what they do. That is their specialty here. So we'll have to see what happens, whether we do it ourselves or they do it. But I think it is time to hit the road. I am not taking that stuff to my house. Oh, actually real quick, I'll have the receipt here. I'll go over final prices with you for everything. I think it was right around seven grand. One second, I'm trying to get this open here. So overall for everything was with tax, $7,385.56. So this stuff is not cheap, but having central hydraulics on this truck and be able to run a wing plow as well is a game changer. You guys have seen the issues that we've been dealing with, with the, uh, what is that other company? Uh, I'm drawing a blank right now. Oh, CPS certified power solutions. We have had nothing but issues with that. So it is going to be nice getting this valve. Well, that valve taken off and this valve thrown on here, it is going to change the truck completely. And it should be pretty much unstoppable at that point until we get like feet of snow or something. But the way winters have been going here, that seems very unlikely. But that is gonna wrap it up for this one. I'm gonna hit the road. I'm Like I said, I'm not bringing this to our shop today. It'll either go down tomorrow. If I go down or I'll give it to somebody that I'm working with and they can bring it down. But that's gonna wrap it up. If you guys have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Peace.